Hello friends, my name's The Real Emil, and welcome back to Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. Today we are carrying on with our tormenting of the Blacklist races, and today we are going after K's Blacklist number 7. Now, yeah, we're using the Evo because we won a Mustang last time, and the Mustang isn't particularly great, so yeah, we're back in the Evo for today, and indeed for the next episode as well, after this one. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is a uh, one of those blacklist members which falls into the category of I don't really remember you too much. Uh, she's sort of in the Jade category where, um, you know, they're cool, not taken against them. To be fair, this uh, K's one was kind of hot, but um, yeah, they're not particularly memorable. I mean, her car isn't that nice at all, so I'm not particularly fussed about getting it. I, I'll try and get it because, of course, I want all the Blacklist cars, but, like, I don't really care. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's a Mercedes CLK 500, which isn't particularly quick. I actually looked at the stats of it, uh, and they're absolutely horrible. I have no idea why it's such, like, a high-leveled car in this game. Like, the acceleration's worse than most of the starter cars. Um, but, yeah, don't particularly like the look of it, and yeah, so, meh. But anyways, uh, we will get through it, we've got seven events to get through, four milestones, and we've got a rack up a bounty of 1.68 million, I believe. So, yeah, we're going to be getting into a couple of pursuits during this episode, uh, and we'll probably be raging a little bit. Uh, I did briefly try the drag race, uh, because there's a drag race available for this person. Uh, we will do it later on, but yeah, it wasn't going very well. Uh, you guys know my history. Uh, I love drag racing in NFS games. I loved it in the first Underground. Unfortunately, that seems to be the only new speed game I actually like drag racing in, because all the other one, all the other like drag racing and stuff suck. Um, to be fair, the ones on Underground too were okay, apart from that one damn one in the airport. That one was crap. Uh, but the rest of them aren't too bad. In this game, all the drag races are terrible, uh, apparently, so, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. I believe this was actually, like, the last Need for Speed game, other than Pro Street, obviously, uh, where they actually had uh, drag racing, because they didn't have it in Carbon at all, which, to be fair, is probably a blessing. Although, you know, some of the highways in Carbon probably would have been okay. Some of the highways in this game, it wouldn't be too bad on. It's just the fact that they put it in silly, stupid roads, which just are not fit for it whatsoever, so... Yeah, that's one of the issues. Let's just slam him into a wall. Um, yeah. I should have really looked at the infactions before starting this race. I kind of knew I was going to get cops on me, uh, which is fine. You know, we need cops on us anyway. Uh, so that's not big, any big of an issue. If we need any extra bounty, we've still got the, the speeding tickets, I believe, from the last Blacklist races to do, so that's completely fine. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, let's, let's go and run away. Ooh, cost the state challenge. Excellent. And a bounty challenge. And a lose pursuit in under three minutes challenge. Uh, okay. And then there's one for roadblocks as well. Well, that's almost the cost the state challenge done. Uh, just completely wreck those guys. Um, yeah, um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the pursuit. <laughs> it's going to go on for as long as it goes on for. I just wish it would show me the bounty thing so I can actually look at how much we need. Um, 75k. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, let's just get some more cost of state. To be fair, wrecking these police cruisers will give us both bounty and cost of state. So, hey, let's go for that. Um, <laughs> right, let's smash through this construction site. There we go. Cost of state challenge is done. Uh, bounty challenge is a third of the way done, which is alright. Let's pull into here. Let's exploderize the gas station, see if we can take anyone out. Oh, we've taken quite a few out. Uh, okay, so that's the bounty challenge almost done. Oh, uh, after, oh, eight roadblocks. Apparently we're not running into roadblocks on this uh, event today, so, I mean, that's fine. And just as I say that, there's a roadblock. Let's smash into it. There we go, bounty challenge is done. Um, <laughs> rip that. Alright. Ooh, at condition fur. Okay. Spike strip time. Uh, and hel oh, helicopter. I'm about to say, if I could lose, the faster I can lose these guys, the better, but, you know, it's not too bad being at condition four, I guess. Um, 
We can get rid of heat if we really need to as well. I can just pull into a body shop and thingy it. Uh, although apparently that cop's slightly dim, so a. Hey. Oh, those cops aren't dim. Those cops aren't dim. I'm sorry for everything I just said. Cops are not dumb. Cops are amazing. I really should have put. I, I, I kind of forgot rhinos were a thing. Um, hmm. Anyways, at least they give us a good bounty. To be fair, this pursuit's actually like, been, gone pretty well so far. Um, I'm about to say I'm evading, but of course, there's that one cop that just spawns in front of you. Oh my god! That was a. <laughs> that was scary. Um, I almost got absolutely cream pied, but uh, yeah, that didn't happen, so that's good. At least I didn't die, uh, which is something the whole family can enjoy. Right. There we go, take you out. Please tell me there's a cooldown spot somewhere near here. Apparently, there's a cop nearby. Uh, right. Yeah, cancel that. I got him. Have a... Is there another cop somewhere? Or is he gonna smash... Smash yourself through the petrol station, mate. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I'll just do that. There we go. ripper Righto. Onwards to my escape. Please get to the cooldown spots. Unfortunately, this pursuit has now just gone on for eight seconds more than it should have done. God damn it. Right, there we go. Anyways, hiding, 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 hiding. <laughs> we are hiding. Hiding we are. And there we go. Excellent. Right. Hey, sweetheart, it's Razor. In your push to get to me, you smoked a lot of drivers that had nothing to do with what happened to you. Now, I know you want me. But hey... I'm gonna tell you something, most of them guys are willing to do anything it takes to make you pay. You should remember that when you're rolling in Rockport. Alright, whatever. Um, well, obviously some driver... The whole, it, it's a racing, I'm a street racer, the whole point is I'm supposed to race against people. I don't particularly care which ones I beat and which ones I don't. Right, um, all of these are fairly pointless, so uh, we'll get back onto racing. No, uh, we'll come back to that in a bit. Right. Uh, speed traps. Uh, sorry, there's a speed trap. Uh, circuit, sprint, sprint. Five mile sprint. Uh, nope. I don't really want to do it. Right, let's do the drag race. Let's get this out of the way. And then we'll do the toll booth uh, or the speed trap or something. I'm not doing the circuit races. J just point that out again. I uh, don't do circuit races. Um. Go, 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 go. What the actual fuck? This game's shit. This game's fucking shit. Oh, finally. Right, excellent. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Of course, on the one attempt where I didn't say anything, it would be the attempt that I win. But anyways, uh, I'm not complaining because, yeah, it's done. Right, that's that out of the way. Next up. Uh, I was doing races, wasn't I? Obviously. How did I forget I was doing races? All right, sprint race, let's go. Let's just get this woman out of the way now because that dra between that drag race, uh, it's pissed me off. Hey look, there's a Viper with the worst wing I've ever seen on a car in my entire life. That is disgusting, as is that Porsche next to it. Uh, you see, I don't feel too bad about supposedly hurting their fifis and putting them in the ground if they're driving cars that are as nice as a Viper, and then ruining, ruining them by putting wings which look like they should be on the back of Vauxhall Corsas, not Dodge Vipers. Um, 
Also, gearing on this car, they could do with bringing back a little bit. Um, I've only got five speed. I don't really know why uh, I've only got a five speed transmission. I'm fairly certain Evo 8 don't have five speeds. I'm fairly... I would almost be certain they have six speeds. I mean, Jesus Christ, you get a six speed in a Peugeot diesel these days. Why wouldn't you have it in a actually relatively modern sports thing? So, I guess it's a sports saloon. It kind of isn't, but it kind of is, so yeah, uh, whatever. Actually, these might have been five speeds. Uh, ooh. It apparently goes a lot faster than I was expecting it to. Uh, 196. That's quite good. I mean, on the highway, it's fine. It's just in that drag race. I wasn't really sure whether to be in fourth gear most of the time or fifth gear. Fourth gear, I would have just been sat at the red line, but fifth gear. It like dropped down to about 5,000 RPM. Unfortunately, you can't tune the gears separately. Otherwise, that might have been worth a look at. Uh, but you can't, so yeah. I love how the tuning in uh, these Need Speed games got progressively worse as they went on. Like, Underground 2 had a quite incredible tuning when you think about it. Like, it was on almost Forza levels of stuff. Um, but, like, this game just has pluses and minuses and carbon. Admittedly, is a lot better, but kind of, you know, you've got a choice between do you want drift tyres or do you want grip tyres? Hmm, let me think about that. <laughs> do I want to make race car or do I want to make drift car for all, like, two drift events in the game, which are apparently piss easy, as we found out. Um, I wish they'd have got rid of the drag events in this game for drift events. Uh, the drift event, actually, to be fair, drift events aren't in this game. Huh. They could have made something out of that, like had a drifter blacklist racer. That would have been kind of cool. Uh, but anyways, we are now in Mockport City, and apparently they are all catching up because of course they are. I left them in the dust, and now all of a sudden they've decided to catch up because of course. Alright, uh, driving past our safe house. There it is, the safe house. Um, yeah, that's where we live apparently in Rockport. Uh, to be... I could do with actually driving out there. I'm, I probably should get out of Rosewood, but uh, it's just driving out here is a bit of an arse, and I can't be arsed, so yeah. Uh, that's why we're still in Rosewood. I don't even think I've even used the Camden Beach safe house. I can't even remember where it is. I think it's on the dock somewhere. Uh, but I'm not too sure, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, where's... Oh, the finish line's at the top of the hill. Okay. And there we go. Across uh, the line and big jump. Right, jump to the safe house. Let's get another event going. Do 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 do. Dee 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 dee. Um, what did I do? I did a sprint race. Now let's do a speed trap race, and then we will do toll booth races, and then we will do another sprint race because yay! <laughs> Welcome to linear events. Uh, okay, so normally the cars are like hugely over leveled in this event, so I mean that makes a change. I can't even remember when you get that Mercedes convertible thing. Um, to be fair, it'd probably make more sense if she was driving that over the CLK. I think that's a lot quicker than the CLK if I remember rightly. I think it's like the SL500, that car. I don't even remember. It's one of the old Mercedes roadsters back from when Mercedes is, 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 is. All looked exactly the bloody well same. They all just look like the C class. And I mean, that's a criticism you can level at the CLK, the CL, or the SL, or whatever that's supposed to be. Yeah, basically, all of the cars Mercedes used to make all just look like the C class. Even, like, the S class, um, it does, you know, have a bit of a passing resemblance to the C class. Um,. At least they didn't all look like the E-Class. I hated that car. The uh, the original Mercedes... Oh, was it? No, it's not the original, obviously. Um, the 90s E-Class, like the really boxy one. I absolutely cannot stand the look of that Mercedes. It's so ugly. Um, it's just a big box on wheels. Like, literally, it's a box on wheels. I never really understood why anyone bought one, but hey, whatever. Uh... Apparently, woo, okay, um, you're going to swerve out the way of the delivery driver and scare the life out of him, assumedly. Yeah, he's like, hmm, I've just bought this brand new Mercedes. I'm going to put a picture of a dragon on it because, yay, I am slightly thick. And I'm also ramming one of my opponents. Oh, almost went into a dodge ram. 
I did pretty poorly through that speed trap, but then again, so did everyone else because I was too busy dodging traffic. Uh, someone's not doing very well at all. I assume that's the Aldi driver that slowed down right before the speed trap. And now there's a little Lotus Elise in front. How cute. The little Lotus who crashed into a taxi. Because, yeah. <laughs> that's what they do. Down here. There we go. Almost finished at the finish line. And voila. Across the finish line. Excellent. Right. Okay, thanks, Mia. Um, right, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, dropped your heat. Okay, that's that's fine. Thank you. Ooh, just dropped my heat back to level one. That's kind of cool. Yeah, actually, that is kind of cool. I was about to say, uh, if I didn't do any of the pursuit challenges, I'd be pissed right now. But I've done them, so that's fine. Right. Anyway, onwards to... Um... Uh... 5 miles, 6.2 miles, 8.4. Let's do that one. Because we can also get another police chase and lose them after 3 minutes. And then, yay! Um, wait, what? That, that's a BMW... What? Why is the BMW M3 in this event? I'm fairly certain that shouldn't be there. Um, hmm. Yeah. In, in case you didn't know, um, quick little uh, backstory, the BMW M3 GTR, the one that the protagonist has, you do get that at the end of the game. Uh, the BMW M3 GTR you just saw there, that was one of those specially black edition cars. Uh, however, you couldn't use it in the career mode from what I remember. Uh, you could only use it in the uh, quick race mode, I don't think you could customise it, so it being there's a little bit weird, but hey ho. Hey, City Skyline actually looks quite cool from here. Uh, that's kind of neat. Do do do. Apparently, all me had to do. Actually, I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, you'll find out more about Mia later on, uh, so yeah. Uh, much later on, actually, because yay, that'll be like the last episode. <laughs> Oh, uh, the last episode. I am... You know, I'm not going to lie. Usually when it comes to Let's Plays, I'm like, hey, you know, it's kind of cool playing this game again. In the case of this one, I am actually going to be very, very happy the day this ends. <laughs> the good news is, um, technically speaking, um, as far as videos are concerned, we are now halfway through this, uh, which is nice. The bad news is... Of smashing into the back of a cop. Uh, the bad news is that this is only the beginning of uh, what's about to happen as far as like the amount of races you get and stuff's concerned. You get a lot of uh, races uh, later on in the game, like the Razor requires you to beat a thousand odd of them, so yeah, uh, be prepared for that. Uh, there's going to be some really long episodes. There's to be honest with you, I'm kind of surprised these have actually all, like, pretty much stayed at what the first, like, real blacklist nation we had, which was technically Vic. I think Taz was quite a uh, small episode, but to be fair, they've all been around 40 minutes long, which is fair enough. It's usually me screaming at the cops trying to get them to either chase me or leave me the fuck alone. Um, <laughs> that really changes depending on uh, who's what. Alright, uh, anyways, uh, we've got to lose the police in under three minutes, so let us go into here, and, ooh, we're in their police station. Kind of fancy in here. Huh. Um. <laughs> Are they just going to stay there? Nope, they're coming this way. Shit. Let's take that out, and come down here. And there we go, excellent. <laughs> we got 100 bounty during that race, but hey, it was worth it. Because now, 
we have a lot of bounty, which is fine. Um, how much do we have? Five, one million five hundred sixty. We need one million six hundred eighty. Uh, thirty-four, thirty-four, thirty-four. Um, it's about a hundred thousand. Still not really enough. Uh, well, though, Miss Jules. Ooh, we have some speed tickets to do for you. Let's do these speed tickets. Uh, and then let's do the other speed tickets, and then we should be at about enough, I think. Uh, so that'll be kind of cool. Um, these are worth 24k, hers are worth 34k. Yeah, I guess it could kind of work. And we'll be able to blitz through these because we have fast enough car, because yay. Right. This entire game is just essentially jumped to safe house. Look at that cutscene, jumped to safe house again. Look at that cutscene. Or not cutscene, sorry, the loading screen. 132, let's do that. And this coke's kind of flat. That's a that's a damn shame. Oh well. Um To be fair, it did come out like the bottle of the bottle, which is the worst bit of uh, coke to get, but hey, whatever. Um and to make it worse it is diet, so yeah, uh, unfortunately that's sort of the what's about to drink, so yeah, uh, that's why I'm drinking that. Right, 158 through here. Uh, let us go and do that. Uh, I assume we're starting in the correct place? I assume the game wouldn't start us in completely the wrong place on the wrong lane, that would be a little bit dumb. Anyway, there's the uh, big stadium, that's actually really fun to play around with, we'll have to go up there in a pursuit one time, because it's just full of ramps and jumps, because I'm fairly certain it's not actually finished, it's still under construction. This is when um, Need for Speed started to get a little bit silly, um, as far as like the big jumps and stuff's concerned. Um, I mean, this, like sort of that one area, uh, <laughs> it's sort of... The only time that NFS, or should I say, right, let me start the sentence again. It started off really well, and now it's just really poorly. For those of you who remember uh, Need for Speed 2012, which wasn't very good, um, <laughs> you may remember it had nothing to do with this game. The only thing that game and this game has in common is it has some big jumps. This game has some big jumps, that game has some big jumps. However, the rest of that game is nothing like this one whatsoever. It's just crap. So, yeah. To be fair, I don't really mind NFS 2015. It's a little bit crap, but meh. It, it's passable, I guess. As far as, like, rivals and stuff's concerned. But, yeah, it's not a real Need for Speed game. Unfortunately, these are the real Need for Speed games. And those Criterion ones kind of are not. Although, I mean, I guess, like, Carpen's the last, like, true good. Uh, I don't think we're quick enough through here. No, we're not. Uh, that's because apparently starting from this way is much better than starting from the way the game put me, as is usually correct in these style events. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Carbon was the last actually good NFS game, in my opinion. Pro Street isn't bad, don't get me wrong. Um, Undercover, from what I've played of Undercover, there we go, also transmission kicking back in. From what I've played of Undercover, it sucks dick. But, um, <laughs> it really does. It's not a good game. Uh, I'm doing terribly. Uh, apparently my Evo only wants to go off-road. Huh. Anyways, uh, apparently if it was coming from this way, I'd have been fine. Right, let's try that again. Um, yeah. And sort of after Carbon, none of them have been really good. The runs are okay, I never finished the run. I'm gonna let's play the run. Um, if I can find it somewhere, it will be the next NFS game we let's play. If I can't, then it's definitely gonna be one you'll see in the future. Uh, there we go. Um, that was very quick through there, actually. No, god no, I'm not going back into that. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, the run's something we'll play through uh, eventually, as I said. And yeah, NFS 2015, I don't mind it, but yeah, um, in all likelihood, I was actually thinking of it, that's probably the next Need for Speed game to play, as unfortunate as that probably sounds to some of you, 
Um, yeah, it's the only real one I can think of, other than Undercover, and I don't really like Undercover. Like, I actually think NFS 2015 is better than Need for Speed Undercover. That's going to be a bit of an iffy statement, but yeah. Unfortunately, the, only, the, like, the thing with NFS 2015 is, yeah, it's the best NFS game in years. The problem with that is there hasn't been a good NFS game in, well, for actually a decade now, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the issues. Quick thing as well, NFS 2015, what do we call the PC release of that? Because technically, shouldn't it be NFS 2016 because it came out, yeah? I don't know, I'll probably still call the Let's Play like NFS 2015 because I refuse to call that game Need for Speed uh, because it's not. <laughs> it just isn't actually Need for Speed. Uh, everyone calls it NFS 2015, that's just the way it is. I wish they'd like launch that game with some form of title, like I don't know, Need for Speed. Um, I don't know, Always Online. <laughs> Need for Speed World 2.0, except without the really nice open world because Ventura Bay kind of sucks. Uh, but you know, again, I refuse to let these videos just be NFS 2015 bashing. Or, or modern NFS, or just general um, EA criterion ghost bashing in general. To be fair, if I end up playing NFS 2015 next, it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully by the time that this is finished, uh, and all those like, all oh, the and stuff, that game should be in its um, big update phase. Uh, you know, where it's finally had the another big update, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, so we could have the manual transmission and some more bits adding to the cars. To be fair, the game as it is today is quite a little bit better than it was, but it's still not great. I think my biggest issue with that game is just the amount of slack people give it. Like, um, I think I was speaking about this in one of our Carbon episodes, but uh, you know, the fact that you've got some YouTubers who are saying, you know, oh, NFS 2015, it has manual transmission now, and you're like, are we supposed to praise the fact that they finally put, or finally think you're putting something in that should have been in the game from the first place? You know, I just don't understand it. Also, the tack needed to stop dating if you're doing that, because guess what, the tachometer sucks. Because apparently the red line's at 10,000 on everything, even though the Volvo's red line is at about 5,000 RPM. So yeah. To be fair though, um, like I could, realistically, if I'd kept uploading NFS 2015 videos, because uh, unfortunately we have to face facts, you know. NFS 2015 is popular. My most popular videos, actually my most popular video is NFS 2015, currently as I'm speaking. And... If I had kept uploading that, I honestly think the channel could be in a really good spot at the moment, but I didn't really want to put myself in a place where, you know, I'm just playing a game I don't particularly want to play, so yeah. I'm not sure how a Let's Play on that game will do now, considering the game's been out for so long, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, how many races have we done? Ooh, we've only got one more race to do. It's only 31 minutes in, that's not bad, actually. Let's do a toll booth race because I'm unimaginative. Right. Let us go, 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 go. Let us go. So yeah, anyways, um, not really sure what we're going to be Let's Play next. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy whatever gets Let's Play next. Um, as far as other games go, some people, uh, I used to get asked it quite a bit, I don't really anymore, but um, you know, some people are saying, you know, maybe TDU2 or something like that. Um, I mean, I could. The problem I've got is I didn't, I played Test Drive Unlimited 2. Wasn't a huge fan, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, I thought the game was alright. I didn't really see why everyone, you know, used to crowd around it and go, Oh my god, it's the best game ever! Because I just didn't think that. I, I didn't think it was particularly great, but... 
Yeah, I mean, everything's a possibility for the future, certainly. I'll have to look at my game deck. I mean, I've always joked about maybe Juice 2, um, potentially. Uh, I'll have to have a look up at my games. Well, actually, I don't know why I'm trying to do this halfway. I mean, we could play through Grid, I guess. That's the only other games I can really see on there. Um, the thing for me is I kind of want to let's play through a game I've already played through and already know all the little bits to. Because, like, if I was to play through TDU2 or... Oh, I am on the right road. Okay, I thought I was going that way. Um, you know, if I was to play through, like, TDU2, I wouldn't know what I'm doing after accessing, like, the second island. Because I haven't played that game in years. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. The problem I've got is, like I've said before, I've sort of played through all the good Need for Speed games now. So I sort of have to... Um, think. Uh, Burnout Paradise, no. Project Gotham Racing 4, no. Dirt, no. Uh, I mean, Midnight Club LA, I guess I could, but... Yeah, I don't really know. I'll have to have a sort of look around eBay, see if there's any good uh, racing games going, any retro ones. Rally Sport Challenge 2, I have got that. Uh, the problem is, uh, it doesn't work on this Xbox, uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, there's the Forza series, I'm doing a Forza 2 Let's Play currently, uh, I'm not quite sure how that's doing, <laughs> I, I've done two episodes of it, I don't know whether I'm going to continue on that one, just because it's a little bit meh, I, I like Forza 2, I really do, the problem with Let's Playing a Forza game is there's just so, it's so long, I was like, Need for Speed games are relatively short. Carbon is, well, Carbon's a 20 part LP. Uh, I've already talked, excuse me, I've already spoke about that in like, Carbon videos, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, Carbon's 20 pieces. Underground 2's 50, that's the longest Need for Speed game, I think. I could play through Need for Speed Underground, the problem is I just need to try and figure out a way to record PS2. Oh, right, Rog wants us to kill Kays, which is fair enough, and yeah, let's, uh, let's get into that. Right, let's just save the game, because, of course, there we go, do 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 and Blacklist 15, Kays, and it's a sprint race and a sprint race. All right, let's just go and beat Kays. Alright, let us get into this. Right, uh, yeah, uh, okay, she's fantastically slow off the line because that CLK is not a quick car, uh, it has to be said. So yeah, anyways, uh, not really sure what the next Let's Play is going to be. Uh, I will probably do some brainstorming. I would make a poll, but meh, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to like look into Xbox 360 racing games because, I mean... The problem I've got with uh, Xbox 360 and racing games is this was sort of on my transition out of racing games and back into them is when I got 360. So uh, when I first bought an Xbox 360, I bought it for Grand Theft Auto 4 originally. And yeah, I like the game. And I also got Midnight Club LA, wasn't a huge fan of that. And I, and I was a huge fan of the Halo series as well, so I got Halo 3 for this as well. And that was really fun. And then, sort of, uh, my friends sort of convinced me to get Modern Warfare 2. And after that, I sort of, like, got addicted to COD quite badly. And the racing games sort of got left behind, uh, unfortunately. And it wasn't until about 2013, I think, where I actually got back into racing games. Um, 
you know, I bought Forza Motorsport, well, I bought Forza Motorsport 4 originally in 2011, but I really got into it in 2013, uh, when I started watching uh, Fail Races videos. Um, yeah, ever since then, uh, I've sort of been on this transition back into racing games. I don't play so much Call of Duty anymore. I don't think I've touched Black Ops 2 in forever. So, yeah, uh, I'm a bit on my way out when it comes to uh, racing games, and I don't really have too many of them on Xbox 360, so, yeah. As far as, at the moment, is concerned, it's looking like it's a title between NFS 2015, uh, which is a potential game, NFS Underground, or Undercover, sorry, which is, uh, I mean, I could. I don't really know if I want to, just because I'm not a huge fan of it. And there's also Need for Speed Pro Street, which I kind of like. Uh, the problem is, it's a very long game. It's also, from what I remember, relatively difficult, and the handling on that game is absolutely bloody atrocious. It's horrible. So, yeah, I don't really know on that one. Um, yeah, in case you want to know what the handling feels like, imagine Need for Speed, Carbon and Most Wanted, but about two times as light. Like, these games feel like they've got heavy steering. That game feels like it's got, don't dive for the shortcut. Don't go through the shortcut, she didn't go through the shortcut, thank Christ. Yeah, uh, these games feel like they've got very heavy steering. Uh, Pro Street feels like this, but lighter, but it still, it's very, very odd. It's a weird handling system. I'm not a huge fan of it, so. Yeah, but Pro Street's definitely a possibility. I'm just looking up there. Um... As far as uh, let's playing other styles of games, you know, I mean, I could. I, I don't really want to. I've toyed around with the idea of, get this van off me, of doing a LP of Halo. Uh, more specifically, it being the Master Chief Collection on Xbox, 3, oh, Xbox One, uh, because they're all on there, so why not do that one? I'm kind of tempted by the idea of doing Halo, I mean, after all, my username comes from Halo Reach, but, yeah, I am not sure, just because this is Car Channel, and Car Channel, yeah, I mean, I, the other sort of LP racing game channels, like exclusive Let's Play channels, which mine isn't, um, I try to not make it, she's been killed by my donut, that's fine. I try not to make this um, a purely uh, Let's Play channel, unlike some of those other channels which are basically stream highlights and Let's Play channels, don't get me wrong, I love them to death, uh, but whenever, I, I find whenever, and these are all like the free, relatively big, or bigger than me at least, uh, racing game channels. Um, and whenever they play other sorts of games, their viewership usually goes down. Uh, and I know, for one, I don't particularly watch uh, many other things, just because, uh, well, I think for one in particular, he's into Mega Man and Sonic, and I'm just not. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, please, no. Let's just reset the car and get going as fast as possible. Uh, we're only 50% in, so that's fine. Apparently I'm seven seconds behind, sure. Um, oh. I was about to say, she's had a collision with a taxi, and then guess what I did? I had a collision with a taxi. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of dumb sometimes. Anyways, yeah, I, I'll probably look into trying to record PlayStation 2, to be honest with you next. Uh, I would love to record the original Underground. Um, if I, right, if I can get a PS2 recording system working with my Elgato, then uh, PS2, uh, we could start looking at Let's Playing on that platform. And as far as that platform goes, I mean, we've got the, uh, I don't know why she's breaking there, uh, although I'm not complaining. Yeah, we've got Need for Speed Underground, which will definitely be getting Let's Played next. If I can get a PS2 working, then yeah, that's the plan, uh, Need for Speed Underground. Um, then I'd probably end up doing Gran Turismo as well, because I love the GT series. It's amazing. Uh, I was going to look for a shortcut there. I decided not to. I don't know if there's a shortcut up this end, though. I don't 
think there is. Um, I'm just going to drive past and see what Kay's does. She's not going for anything, so I'm assuming there's no shortcut there. Um, but yeah, if I could get a PS2 recording uh, system working, that would be absolutely amazing because then we could play through uh, Gran Turismo, uh, which would be awesome. I'm not sure how many of you guys are actually into Gran Turismo, um, but I am into Gran Turismo and I would kind of like to let's play Gran Turismo because that game's kind of my childhood. Don't get me wrong, um, Forza, I love... I, I, I love Forza. Uh, Forza's definitely the better one nowadays, but uh, oh, if we're talking back then, man, need, uh, Gran Turismo 2, best game ever. Right, anyway, let's uh, let's get some markers from this woman and stop rambling on about past video games. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay, we've got the blacklist part to her car. Uh, visual part upgrades. Uh, um, let's just go with that one, because why not? Unique spoiler upgrade. Okay. And there we've got blacklist number six, Mr. Ming. Oh, we're going to have some fun with you, Mr. Ming. For I know that's going to be an arse. Okay, right. Thank you, Mia. All right, sweet. So let's go into the safe house and we will quickly have a look at the car we got. I'm, I love it how the one car I'm not too bothered about is the one I get instantly. Ooh, handling stats are good on it though. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's um, a CLK 500. Not the best looking car in the world. I don't really know what's going on with those exhausts, but yeah, kind of cool, I guess. Uh, we're not going to be using it. I'm probably, actually, I don't know. We might actually start looking at potentially a new car. Um, so, yeah, uh, join me in the next episode to see if I decide to go and buy a new car. Anyway, friends, thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Emil. Until next time, farewell.